Hey there and welcome to this video where we implement a theme in WordPress. We have done a lot here, uh, but there is one thing that we're missing a little bit and this is that is the functions.php file that we have not created. And so why should we use a functions.php file? Uh, well, we have this get template directory URI where we include our main style sheet. And usually in any theme, it is best practice that you have a functions file, that you have a file where, uh, or a script file, where you put all the, the functions in WordPress. If you want to include a widget to your theme, or if you want to uh, create a custom post type maybe. Uh, and also it's a really, really good place to include CSS or JavaScript, because if we, this is pretty simple right now, but if we end up with us with a theme where we have maybe five, six, seven different style sheets, we need a lot of this. We need many lines of code here for that. We also need to, if we are using any JavaScript, we also need to put the same thing down here because usually as with the header bar, you put the JavaScript in the bottom. So you would have a lot of JavaScript includes down here. You can really put this together inside the functions file. So it is in one place. So again, we're trying to separate this a little bit in another file. So it is easier to edit that file. So the first thing is we're going to create this functions.php. And we're not going to put a lot of code right here in this file, but we're going to take this style CSS that we're including. And the way that we enqueue this in this functions file is that we need to, of course, have our PHP tags. And uh, then we're going to create a function. And that is pretty much up to you what you want to call it. I'm just going to call it add theme scripts. And we're going to use a function, a built-in uh, WordPress function called enqueue. Uh, in Q styles, and we can see we have a lot of different variations here. We also have script and we have style. And we can provide several different uh, parameters for this one. We're not going to use all of them, so I'm just going to remove it. We need to define that it's a style, and then we need to provide the, how WordPress should find the style sheet. So we can use this get style sheet URI that will give us the whole path for the default style sheet with a name of style.css. So this ref this refers direct to the style CSS. If we want to, let's say we had another style sheet, then we would probably use, just use get style sheet directory, uh, some of these functions here, and then we would provide the actual um, the actual file name because when we use this style sheet URI, it defaults to style.css. This is what it's, what it's going to look for. Okay, so we have the function here, and then we need to add an action. And an action in WordPress is kind of where you can instruct WordPress to run some extra code when it is starting up, when it is initializing. And we're providing a hook, as we call it. This is a place in the initialization that we want WordPress to run this code. So we've instructed WordPress now that when you get to this point where you are, and if I can spell this correctly here, we need to put script because we need to type this correctly. When WordPress gets to this point in its initialization, the VP and Q scripts, where it is initializing all the different scripts, we want them, we want WordPress to execute this function. So it is executing this function and the function is enqueuing the default style sheet that should be in the same directory as the functions file. So now we should be able to go back to our, um, walking around in the files here. I should be able to move, remove this one here because we have a shared functions folder now. And if we go back there, yeah, we can see nothing really changes again here, but uh, we still have the include up here in the head here with a lot of different includes here. But again, if you had 
JavaScript or if you had more CSS, this will come in handy and it is a best practice. If we take a look at other themes of WordPress, they have a functions.php file. We could also provide any other function here to add a widget or as I told before, a custom post type or whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. Have fun with us. Bye-bye.